Welcome back everyone. In the last couple of videos, I showed you how to install Nginx server and then how to install Grav on to a system with Nginx server installed so that you can go through the basic setup steps. In this video, I'm going to go over how to install a Grav theme that will actually work, especially if you're new to web development and website management. I'm going to show you the best themes that you can download from the Grav website. Because this series is targeted at beginners, I'm going to go over really quickly here FileZilla. In the last couple of videos, we spent a lot of time in command line, and that's because command line is a really powerful tool and was absolutely necessary for a considerable number of the steps in the last couple of videos. There were a lot that you could do outside of it, but command line was really the best tool for the job. It was just faster to do it that way. With FileZilla though, it's going to be a little bit more comfortable for people who are used to a graphic user interface where you can see the prompts. So really quickly, I'm going to show you how to set up FileZilla to connect to your server. So the first thing you're going to click is Site Manager, and then you're going to add a new website. In this case, we're going to do Grav Demo Video. And I've already done an IF config on the Linux box on the virtual machine that I showed you how to set up. And so I know that the IP address for that system is 192.168.1.4. And we're going to connect to this system using SFHTP. And this is SSH file transfer protocol. For the username, we're going to use grav. And on that system, we have a couple of profiles. We have Nick because I set up the system that way. If you're doing this on an online web server hosting platform, you're probably gonna have a root user. You're not gonna to wanna to use the root user. And I'll explain a little bit more on this later, probably in the next video in the series. For the password, we want to put in the password. In this case, it's just a demo, so my password is cheese. Now I'm going to click OK, and to connect to the server, I will just go to this drop down here, and then grab demo video. All right, hit a little snag there because my VPN was still connected, so I couldn't connect to the local system. So the question that it comes up with is, do you want to connect to the server? It is installed literally on the machine that this is being recorded on right now. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that we are in the grab main folder that we created in the last video. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate down into grab www HTML. Instead of doing what we did in command line last time, rm space dash capital RF HTML, we can actually do this through FileZilla through FTP services. So I can just go ahead and hit the delete key on my keyboard and then approve the deletion. And this will remove the entirety of the Grav website that we worked on last video. Of course, I showed you at the end of the last video, it's very easy to get that back up because all you have to do is load the files in because there's no database. For our theme, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the Grav website. And I have that pulled up right here. When you look in the theme section, there are a lot of different options. As you're looking through these, a lot of them will look very exciting at face value, but if you're not an experienced web developer, they may be more tricky to work on than you would ordinarily think. And I'll show you why. 
When you go to these, each of them has a little demo option. Not all of them work, but most of them do. When you click on demo, it will take you into a sample website. And this has all kinds of stuff. It has the top header menu. It has a full layout built out for the home page, and really everything that you would want for a website. The problem is, when you actually download this theme into the admin panel for the version of Grab that you just installed, none of the pages are built out. And you may or may not be able to navigate around different things like how the menu works. So some of these, the menu is managed purely by what folders are in the root directory of your Grab HTML or your Grab page where the where the pages are kept like that root folder some of them aren't though some of them are controlled through an html file and a good example of this is the notepad theme which is the one that i use they make it this will make it more difficult and unless you know how to structure pages or you understand how the theme works out of the gate it will be more difficult for you to operate if you are an experienced web developer, of course, this won't be an issue. And I'm sure that there is documentation for most of these so that you can build out the pages as the theme wants you to. For new people, which this video is targeted at, the area you're going to want to look in is skeletons. And what the skeletons are is they are built out exactly the way that the demo is laid out. So when we go and in this case, we're going to install the notepad theme because that's the one that I prefer for my blog. Just very simple series of posts. When you install the skeleton, this is exactly what the skeleton looks like. The menu at the top is all built out this way. You have home featured posts, categories, about, and feed. Feed, I've never been able to get to work for some reason. It takes you to this page so I think that there's a plugin that needs to be installed with the skeleton that just doesn't work what I did on my personal website was I just disabled that tab entirely I think it's RSS is what's supposed to go in there we're going to install the notepad theme and in this case instead of going through the whole system where we download through command line, in this case, I'm going to download the notepad theme onto my local computer and then upload it using FileZilla. So all you have to do is click that download button and then download it to your local machine. Now you can just unzip that file. I have the download displaying right here. In my Linux instance and most Windows systems, you can just right click and then extract here. And you can see Grab Skeleton Notepad site. For this site to work, it has to be renamed to HTML, but I have another folder in here called HTML. I'm just going to go ahead and open up FileZilla and rename it once it's on the server. So in the downloads folder, we can see grab skeleton notepad site. And with FileZilla, this is really simple. You just click, you drag, and you drop into www. This will take a couple seconds to upload, but it's not worth pausing the video. Once it's done uploading, you can rename it. Just right click on it, rename, and then rename it HTML. When you press enter, you should be able to navigate to that website, just going to the IP address of whatever server you have. In this case, I'm connected to my local network, so we're just going to type in 192.168.1.4. Now we can see that this website is installed on our local system and it looks exactly the same as it did when it was up on the Grab website for demonstration.
you've got all your featured posts, categories, about, and then feed, which doesn't work right. Everything is working nearly perfectly, except for, of course, as I addressed, the RSS feed section. But this concludes how to install Grav Themes, and it should be helpful for all of you new people involved in IT who want to set up a website and are looking for a very simple to set up website with a full admin panel. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. And if you are a new user who is setting up a website and you want to see the next video, which is how to install plugins, specifically the admin panel, because that isn't working on this specific deploy, please subscribe and hit the bell and get notifications when that video goes up. Thanks for stopping by. This is Nick signing out.